Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another tasty keto recipe for you. Today we're going to whip up some delicious keto buffalo style wings. Wings are easy to make ahead of time during meal prep over the weekends or during the week whenever you do yours. And then that way you'll always have something savory and salty to eat in a pinch so you don't grab something that's higher in carbs. I went ahead and cleaned the chicken, then placed it in a bath of fresh water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar to brine it. I let the chicken sit in the brine overnight to tenderize the chicken. I went ahead and seasoned the chicken. I added about two teaspoons of the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning, about a half teaspoon of kosher sea salt. Be careful because all the other seasonings contain salt so you don't want to overdo it. I added about two teaspoons of the Obey seasoning. About two, te two teaspoons, I can talk, about two teaspoons of the pixie dust. I then massage the chicken just to get the seasonings well incorporated. Then of course go ahead and make sure to season the other side of the chicken. I did marinate the chicken overnight and I usually use the food saver when I'm short on time but even when not short on time and doing it overnight like this it's great because it's going to give you a deeper level of a marination. I already had some of my one step dredge on hand so I just pulled that out of the freezer and I decided to add a little bit more onion and garlic powder to the dredge and then I started adding the chicken to the dredge. Once you've added some chicken to the dredge just go ahead and seal the top of the container and give it a good shake to make sure the chicken is coated on all sides. I fill my cast iron skillet with grapeseed oil about two thirds of the way up. I heat the oil over a medium steady heat for about five minutes before I start adding any chicken. You'll want to get your oil's temperature to about 260 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also flick a little bit of water into the pan to test it. If it spatters a bit, it's usually ready to go and start cooking. Or you could use a thermometer. I'll leave all the information, the recipe for the dredge below in the description box for you guys. I then cook the chicken for about three minutes on each side until golden brown. Once cooked, I set the chicken wings onto a rack and now it's time for us to make our buffalo sauce. I added about two tablespoons of salted curry gold butter to a pan along with about two tablespoons of unsweetened ketchup. Primal Kitchen is a great one. Then went ahead and added a half a cup of Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce to the pan. I also added one packet of stevia just to balance out the acidity a bit and gave that a good stir. I also sprinkled some more garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay seasoning, and the Pixie Dust Universal seasoning into the sauce just to add a little bit more flavor. Once you've added all the ingredients for the sauce to the pot, go ahead and give it a good whisk. If it needs a little help coming together, you can put it over a very low heat and just stir it until combined and you'll end up with something silky and luscious like this to pour atop your wings. Pour the delicious, tangy, and savory buffalo sauce over those wings. Put the wings into an airtight container, give it a good shake, and you are ready to eat. I paired these tasty tangy buffalo wings with some delicious blue cheese sauce. I then sprinkled on some freshly chopped chives to the dressing as well as the chicken wings. I then chopped up some cucumber wedges. I really prefer this to celery. I'm not crazy about the taste of celery, but I love cucumbers and this is a great alternative. These wings, this dip, and having some cucumber chopped and diced during meal prep ahead of time is great to have on hand during the week. Hope you guys make and enjoy this recipe as much as I do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye!